Hey there guys, it's Muffin Sauce here with you and welcome back to my channel. I got my hands on some pilot juice paint and we are going to try it out today together with you guys. It's my first time using it, I've never used it so this is uh, an honest review I guess. <laughs> so this paint is uh, great for arts and crafts and it's uh, opaque water based and it's supposedly waterproof but let's try it out later. And I wonder if it works like acrylic markers like Porsche car. And see we have like um, different sizes and they even gave me some uh, metallic and some pastel. We are going to try the pastel first because I love pastel colors so much. Okay, so to activate the marker, you have to shake it till the ink flows down. Shake it and keep dabbing on it uh, on the piece of paper. I'm sorry you have to go through and watch me activate all the markers but I was trying to make an ASMR type video but I failed terribly <laughs> so I actually made a mistake I'm not supposed to shake you look look at what I just did I shook the marker with the cap off so I got all the paint all over the book and thankfully it's just a sketchbook but don't make the same mistake as me so if you want to activate your marker, shake it with the cap on. Do not shake it with the cap off, if not you will end up with like letters all over the place which I kept forgetting. And here I am trying to show you what the sheen and the shine, sheen shine of what the metallic look like. So I really love the metallic, it's really nice. It's like really really metallic, you can see the sheen on it. And yeah. You can get all these markers for sing dollars two dollar eighty nine cents at Overjoyed. They do come in a set. I'm not sure what's the price for a set. You can go down to Overjoyed and take a look. They come in few colors and also metallic. I'm trying the metallic color right now, and this is what it looks like under the light. It's shiny, right? I love it so much. Wait, did I just say that? <laughs> oh well. So now I'm going to try um, drawing something on a watercolor paper and see how it goes. Currently I'm using a 0.7mm orange marker. The markers actually come in four sizes. There's 0.7 and there's 1.0mm, 1.4 and the jumbo size comes in 8. Unfortunately the jumbo only comes in like, let's see, only comes in four colors, yellow, black, um, neon pink, white, red, blue, a lighter blue and darker green. Oh look, I forgot and I actually this shook the markers with the cap off again so I got like some droplets here and there. So pardon me and uh, just remember and learn from my mistakes and don't forget to put the cap on when you activate it or shake it. Every time you shake it in fact. And I'm recently into plants so I drew a plant, not sure what plant is there, it's just some random plant and yeah I'm using a mix of uh, different markers that I have on hand. Um, you can you can get them individually or in sets, I actually got mine in a set. If you don't want to buy a set, you can buy them individually, just buy the colour that you need, you know, you can save money that way because I don't think you will use all the colours in the set. So I'm trying it on another piece of paper. Um, remember when I used the Porsche card the last time? And there's a lot of like strange fibers coming out um, from drawing. And I've asked around and some people say it's the paper because you need to prime the paper before I paint it. But I don't have this problem with the Pilot Juice marker because I don't know, is it different material? It's not acrylic, but it's the same felt and it's also water based, it's, acrylic is water based too but they don't call this acrylic paint, acrylic markers but I don't have any problems with like fibers coming out from this from this marker oh look my cats are wondering what the hell am I doing <laughs> talking to myself so the marker works well on paper and watercolor paper there's no fibers coming out and next I'm going to try painting on a terracotta pot so before painting the pot, it's always advisable to wash it first and wash all the debris, any dust or 
whatever gunk is on the pot it might be a used pot so it's always best to wash it with a sponge first wait for it to dry before you start drawing and yeah so I, I got no idea I didn't come in with a plan I just started drawing random things and patterns on the pot and this is actually a jumbo size juice paint as you can see is a uh, 8 mm wide so you can cover a lot of area and this is the yellow so I got no idea what am I gonna say you're gonna hear me mumbling because I don't feel like playing music music is copyrighted not that I am monetized anyway just Steph talking to herself and my cats are still staring at me okay I added a face then I decided to add more like metallic gold so on top we have the metallic no on top we have the white and the metallic gold and then I decided to add more metallic gold because I like the metallic texture oh man so now I have a pot with face and more patterns of course I'm going to add a plant to it so this is what it looks like and then I went to try out and see if it's waterproof and apparently it is I tried washing the pot and it didn't come out I mean the paint didn't come out obviously and because you are drawing on a pot it's going to be exposed to water frequently especially the uh, terracotta pot because you're going to keep watering your plants and it doesn't make sense if the paint comes out right and there you have it my repotted plant i planted a monstera um, uh, i got no idea i can't remember all the plant names so it's one of the monstera species and i actually have it in this pot for a couple of weeks and it's thriving well so yeah and hey that's barney <laughs> and i even added a little cat inside and she's like a sleepy truffles actually monstera is um toxic to cats so don't it's the best to put it out of their reach and then i decided to try if it goes on if the juice paint goes on walls too so i'm using this pink uh, medium size juice paint and i'm going to draw blushes on the cat I, think I guess you can call it blushes, cheek blush then as you can see my wall is very textured and I bought the house this way so it's not the ideal wall for drawing <laughs> because of the texture and it costs a lot of money to smooth it out so we just left it as it is and yeah now the cat has uh, cheeks and the paint looks rather wet and I actually tried to touch it with my finger to see if it dried apparently not so I decided to wait 12 hours so 12 hours later it should be dry oh yeah it is so I took a dry tissue to try and wipe off the paint it didn't come off so that's good news but it just feels very faint doesn't it so I went to get a wet tissue and decided to try using a wet tissue to wipe it and see is it waterproof like as said but I can start seeing that it became 50% lighter and oh Truffles is here she's being a real busy body as usual so after trying the juice marker I will not use it for walls because they are not permanent and I will not use it for my murals and I would advise you not to as well so I'm going to try using the juice markers on a tote bag first of all you have to put a, a block of paper or board in between the fabric so that it will not go through and stain the other side of the fabric because um, some of these cotton fabrics are really really very thin and it will bleed through and maybe you can already guess i'm actually drawing a watermelon why because we are using juice paint and juice paint is juice and juice is reminding me of watermelon juice right now and i feel like having watermelon juice apparently i don't have it nearby i have to go out to the heartland malls oh well i'll just draw watermelon and the thing i noticed about uh, this set how come they don't come in white for the fine and extra fine sizes look at this 
these are the 0 0.7 and 1 mm size and they don't come with white in fact the jumbo size and the pastel medium size comes with a white so if I want if you buy a set you have to get a white separately I guess so I got a white from the pastel set and decided to use it because they don't have it in the other set which is sad which is strange you know I don't know why it doesn't come in white but you see after using white um, some of the colors will stain the tip of the white marker and you can easily clean it by dabbing it on the tissue paper look at it see you easily clean it so that the next time you use it you won't stain your artwork and you have a clean new brand new marker yeah just a tip <laughs> and I decided to add faces like all my other stuff add faces and I now thought uh, so plain why don't I just add something instead of writing watermelon I decided to write in Chinese and eh? I wrote watermelon which sounds a bit pun intended like watermelon watermelon sorry my Chinese sucks <laughs> but I can at least I can write this and yeah so here you have it this is my honest review of the pilot juice marker and will I use it again of course I will use it again and it's a great it's a great marker for craft um, you can use it on ceramic you can use it on blackboards even and tote bags is great it's great on tote bags it's great on pots and there are many possibilities but perhaps just not on wall murals not for wall murals you can use it on canvas even and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more thank you bye